Welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie. Today we have an unscripted show because I'm really excited to share someone new with you. We've only had her for five days, so let's just let's just meet her. Here she is. Look how little and cute she is. This is an African crested porcupine, and she's only about three weeks old. She's tiny right now, but she's gonna get huge. Right now, we're just laying down the foundation of her getting to know us and us getting to know her. So, just trying to figure her out and see what she's all about. She's getting kind of hungry right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and make up her food. We're gonna feed her some fresh goat milk and we wanna warm that up. We also wanna give her some produce. So this is pureed pear and carrot. We wanna put that in a syringe for easier feeding. And lastly, we're gonna give her some medicine, a very mild antibiotic and some eye drops. We're first gonna start with the milk. She's just started to eat on her own. Now normally they'd be eating on their own by this age, but she was kind of sick when she came to us, so we're just kind of nursing her back to health. I want to see if she'll take this on her own. Get up, get right there. Oh, there, almost. There you go, good girl. I'm hoping that she'll take about 15 milliliters per feeding. I would love if she took 25. We're feeding her four times a day. I'm trying to get 100 milliliters in, but she usually quits at about 10 milliliters. So I have to try and entice her to eat more. African crested porcupines are known to be quite um, hungry little guys. So for her not to be wanting tons and tons of food means that she is feeling under the weather. So that's why we're giving antibiotics. So as she pauses a little bit here, I'm gonna go ahead and give her some of her antibiotics and then finish that off with some more food. This is not so fun, huh? There you go. Mm. If I just let her regulate her own eating, she would end up becoming dehydrated. So I really need to make sure that I keep pushing her until she gets at least 15. All right, and there we go. That's 15, good girl. Wipe your face. All right, now I wanna add an extra fiber to her diet, so. She's going to eventually wean off this milk, probably in the next couple weeks, and I want her eating lots of good, healthy produce. So that's why I have a blend of pear and carrot, and she can also eat things like sweet potato, yam, or um, apple, those types of things. So right now, this is what we're gonna try. Does it smell good? Oh, she likes it. She knows this. This is so good. The way that she's eating this, this tells me that she's, um, she's feeling much better. Her stomach is feeling better. Just everything, everything about her is, is, is feeling better. I'm hoping that soon I can just give her chunks of produce and she'll start using her awesome rodent teeth and she'll just munch them down. But until then, <laughs> I'll keep giving her the, the puree because she seems to like this so much. I think it might be, <laughs> you're getting all messy. <laughs> I think it might be a great way to reinforce her in the future as we begin to train her. Speaking of training, I've already started getting her desensitized to a harness so that we can walk her around safely. And I'm doing it in the middle of a feeding because I want her to kind of ignore it. It'll go on and then I'll reinforce her. So she didn't want that reinforcement, that's all right. I'm going to use body massage as a reinforcement instead. She just melts in my hand. Look at that. Oh, that's so good. The good stuff in there. A lot of people think that, oh, it's a porcupine, it's gonna be pokey, but she's an African crested porcupine, which means that these quills are not barbed like North American porcupines or South American porcupines. So if, even if I touch them, they're, they're a little bit pokey, but they're not gonna stick into my skin and they're only on her back here, so they're not on her belly, and they're not on her legs or arms. All right, now I'm gonna take the harness off. Just keep it on for a little bit. We're working on desensitization, so we don't want to be, her to become sensitized to it, so we don't want it to be a bad thing. We just want it to be just a normal thing. This happens, and it's not so bad. She's still just getting her feet under her, 
Um, when she came to us, she was very wobbly and she couldn't hold up her own weight. Like I said, she, she, was, a she was a little bit sick. Um, so this is really great to see her walking around really stable. She's very adventurous right now. Not very curious, just adventurous. You know syringes, huh? Is that your, are you taking it? This is all your medicine. Oh, you know that, huh? You want some more of that? Yep. Looks like we'll use this as a reinforcement. All right, that was pretty fun. I love how adventurous she is. Now, the last thing I have to do before our morning session ends is I have to give her some eye drops. She has a little ulcer in her right eye on her right cornea. Um, and the left one is a little bit goopy. So we're gonna go ahead and just give her mild antibiotic drops in each eye. That's it. I'm so excited to be able to share her with you from the very beginning. I'm hoping that she grows up nice and big and strong and she can be an amazing ambassador. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, we do not have a name for her yet. So if you have any name suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And of course, if you would like to go on an adventure with us every week, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Animal Wonders Montana. Thanks, and we'll see you next week. Sherman and Groucho were the same species as Prickle. Sherman was calm and easygoing. Groucho was shy and a bit of a grump. And Prickle is totally different.